morning! I'm Teacher Jane. It's nice to see you again. Today, we're going to discuss techniques in separating mixtures. Are you ready? Okay, so we're going to talk about winnowing. What is winnowing? As you can see with the pictures, it is an agricultural method developed by ancient cultures for separating grain from chop. It is also used to remove weevils or other pests from stored grain, threshing, the loosening of grain or seeds from the husk and straw. It is the step in the shop removal process that comes before winnowing. Okay, let's move on to the second technique. We have here filtration. Again, filtration. It is used when separating a solid substance from a fluid. A fluid may be either liquid or a gas by passing a mixture through a porous material such as a type of filter. It works by letting the fluid pass through but not the solid. So we have examples, coffee filter, uh, we filter even the sand. Okay, did you get it? Okay, so the third technique, sedimentation. This is a separation technique in which the particles settle down and water can be taken out easily. Sedimentation is the process by which the insoluble, heavy particles settle down their own in a solution. In order to separate the two, the liquid has to be gently poured into another. Okay? So, we have another technique, decanting. Decanting means you are pouring off a liquid without disturbing the sediment or other liquid layers. You usually use it to separate solids from liquids, but it can be used to separate two liquids. Uh, let's take with the second illustration, separating sand and water. So, you have to take a beaker containing water with sand settled at the bottom. Then carefully pour away the water, trying not to disturb the sand. So how clean is the water you have poured out? That is decanted. Is there a better method of separating sand and water? It is very difficult using the decanting method to obtain pure water that contains no sand particles. There is a better way of separating sand and water. We will look at that next. Okay. And so we have sifting or sieving. It is used to separate a dry mixture which contains substances of different sizes by passing it through a sieve, a device containing tiny hole. Sieving is also explained as to separate minute particles of different size passing it through a sieve. Different size Sieves are used to separate different types of mixture containing minute particles. As you can see with the illustration, there is a laborer saving sand particles. And on the other hand is starch. So sieve is a device containing tiny holes and separates wanted elements from unwanted material. So the next is hand picking. I guess this is the easiest way or the easiest technique in separating mixtures. You're going to pick from your hand and then separate the mixture. Did you get it? Okay, the next technique, flotation. What is a flotation? Flotation is when an undissolved substance floats on top of another. For example, oil floats on top of water and can be separated using a separating funnel. 
Okay, just look with the illustration. We have the oil on the upper part and the water on the lower part. So, the last technique is the use of magnet. So, we call that magnetism. If one component of that mixture has magnetic properties, you could use magnet to separate the mixture. Iron, nickel, and cobalt are all materials that are magnetic. So, we have here the example. So, we're going to separate nails from the wood chips. So, to do that easy, so you're going to use magnet. 